The following question is about moles and finding volume of gas. And the question states that there is a reaction between aluminium powder and anhydrous barium nitrate. Now, aluminium powder is just aluminium. And anhydrous means without water. So, barium nitrate, it's a, it's a dry anhydrous barium nitrate salt. So, aluminium is reacting with barium nitrate, which is uh, BA and NO3 would be twice. BA is 2 plus, NO3 is minus 1, so BaNO3 twice. And the products of the reaction... Uh, the metal oxide and nitrogen are the only products of the reaction. So, metal oxides are being formed. Aluminium oxide is Al2O3. And you have barium oxide which is BaO. Plus nitrogen is the only product. So, this is your balanced, uh, this is your reaction. Aluminium reacting with barium nitrate producing aluminium oxide, barium oxide and nitrogen. Now the tricky part is uh, about figuring out how to balance this uh, reaction. And remember if you look carefully, observe carefully, this is a redox reaction. Aluminium is neutral over here, aluminium is 3 plus over here, so it's losing electrons, which is oxidation. So since uh, technically it's a redox reaction, whenever you have a redox reaction, you don't balance the number of atoms first. What you do is you balance the number of electrons that are lost and the number of electrons that are gained, they should be balanced first. So so if you look carefully, aluminium is zero. It's it has an oxidation state of zero over here. Aluminium over here, it's in group three, so it's plus three. Oxygen is minus two. So one oxidation state change is uh, when you're going from zero to plus three, which basically means that you have lost three electrons. So this is where aluminium is losing three electrons. It's getting oxidized. Uh, then there would be some other species that would be gaining electrons. So let's uh, analyze barium nitrate for a second. Barium is in group 2, so barium is uh, uh, plus 2. Uh, nitrogen is the unknown, so there are two nitrogens. So let's uh, 2 multiplied by N, so there are two nitrogens. Nitrogen is unknown, the oxidation state is not known. And there are a total of 6 oxygens. We know that oxygen is minus 2. And since there are a total of 6 oxygens, so that's minus 2 into 6. And this should all, if you add up all the charges and oxidation states, it should be equal to zero because barium nitrate is a neutral molecule. And we're going to solve for N now, try and figure out what the oxidation state of N is. N would be, it would be minus 2 into 6, uh, that would be 12. So on the other side, it's going to become plus 12. And then taking 2 on the other side, that would be minus 2. Uh, and dividing the whole thing by 2, that would give you plus 5. So N is plus 5. So over here, barium is plus 2, N is plus 5, the oxygen state of N is plus 5, and oxygen is minus 2. On the other side, in my products uh, over here, you have barium oxide. Barium is plus 2, we already know that, it's in group 2. Oxygen is, in my, is minus 2. Nitrogen, whenever you have a free neutral element, the oxygen state of nitrogen is going to be exactly, it's going to be exactly 0. So I figured out all the oxygen states. And by looking at the, uh, at the elements, you would notice that barium maintains its oxidation state. Oxygen is also minus 2, it's minus 2, so it's not changing its oxidation state. The only other element, apart from aluminium, that's changing its oxidation state is nitrogen. It was plus 5 over here and it is 0 in this nitrogen molecule, which means that it has, if you're going from plus 5 and you're going to 0, that means you're basically gaining five electrons and it is getting reduced. Now going over the equation once more, aluminium is the species that is getting oxides, losing, it lost three electrons and nitrogen is the species that is gaining uh, a total of five electrons. So aluminium is losing three electrons, nitrogen is gaining five electrons, the number of electrons that are lost and the number of electrons that are gained, they must be equal. So what that means is, to make the number of electrons lost and gain equal, if I have three aluminiums, if I have five aluminiums, they would in total lose 15 electrons. Vice versa, if I have three nitrogens, they would in total gain 15 electrons. So the ratio of aluminium to nitrogen should be five ratio. For every five aluminiums, there should be three nitrogens. Or we can say for every 10 aluminiums, so for every 10 aluminiums, according to the same ratio, there would be 6 nitrogens. 
because five, if you have 10 aluminiums, they would lose a total of 30 electrons. If you have six nitrogen, they would lose, they would gain a total of 30 electrons. So for every 10 aluminiums, there would be six nitrogen. So based on this ratio, I'm going to try and balance this equation. So I need, I need 10 aluminiums. So if I have 10 aluminium atoms, so for every 10 aluminium, aluminium atoms, I need six nitrogen uh, uh, plus five uh, uh, elements. So this should be three barium nitrate molecules. The reason I'm taking it as three is because each barium nitrate contains two nitrogens. So if you have three, that would contain six nitrogens. And on the other side, I have 10 aluminiums on the left hand side. So there should be 10 aluminiums over here. So this should be five molecules of Al2O3. So that would make it 10 aluminiums. And on the other side, uh, I had a total of six nitrogens over here. So there should be six nitrogens over here as well. So that would be three N2 molecules. And let's balance the rest. There are three balliums. So there should be three balliums over here as well. So now if you look carefully, if I have 10 aluminium, each aluminium lost three electrons. So 10 aluminium lost a total of 30 electrons. And if I have uh, six nitrogens plus five going to six nitrogens zero, that's, that, that means that one nitrogen is gaining five electrons. If you have six nitrogens, they would be gaining a total of 30 electrons. So the number of electrons that are lost and the number of electrons that are gained are now are now exactly equal. So this is your balanced equation now and you can confirm whether it's balanced or not by looking at the oxygen atom. So there are six oxygens and the three molecules so that's a total of 18 oxygens. This is five into three that's 15 plus there are three oxygens over here so that's also 18 oxygens. So everything now looks perfectly balanced. So the challenge about this question was that the first thing you need to do is you need to construct a balanced equation and since it's a redox reaction you need to you need to balance the number of electrons that are lost and the number of electrons that are gained and they should be made equal. Now once this equation is balanced the rest of the question is fairly easy. What he's asking is that uh, you're supposed to find the volume of nitrogen so so we need to find the volume of nitrogen that is produced when 0.783 grams of anhydrous barium nitrate reacts. So that means uh, 0.783 grams of anhydrous barium nitrate. So 0.783 grams of barium nitrate and you can find the moles mass is given. So moles would be the mass divided by the molar mass, which is going to be barium is 137. NO3 is that's 14 into two, nit the two nitrogens and there are six oxygens. So that's 16 into uh, six oxygens. And this value comes out to be, if you do this calculation on your calculator, it's going to come out to be equal to 3 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 moles. And if you look at the equation, 3 barium nitrates produce 3 nitrogen molecules. So the ratio is 3 ratio 3. So the amount of moles of nitrogen are going to be exactly the same. They're going to be 3 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 moles because the ratio is exactly the same. Uh, barium nitrate has 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles. Nitrogen is also going to have 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles. The next part is you need to find the volume of nitrogen gas. And volume of gas is the moles of gas multiplied by the molar volume. So you have 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles multiplied by 1 mole occupies 24 dm cube. That's the molar volume. And solving this on your calculator, it's going to give you uh, the answer that you're going to get is 0 0.072 dm cube decimeter cube and if you convert that into cm cube multiplied by 1000 option b would be the correct option